Are we rolling, Jimmy? All right, this is working. This is Zeppelin Chat 2. Uh, I have to fight the urge to want to look at my face there when I talk to you because I see my head rolling around. In fact, my big head, I didn't realize my head was so huge. I mean, I knew it was big, but my God, and those little shoulders, I feel like a freak. Anyway, all right, Bonham Chat 2. Um, this will be a shorter video because there's a, a, I was looking for some pictures. I have a picture here that there was a fellow that took in, um, I think their first tour they did was in Scandinavia in 1968, and Bonham had a rented Slingerland kit. Now, I'm not sure if it's green sparkle. People always will say, oh, it was green sparkle. Well, I've never seen any color pictures of it, so maybe it's green or maybe it's blue or maybe it's red or I don't know. But it is a Slingerland kit, and I will put a link on there. You've probably seen it. Most of Zeppelin crazy people like myself have seen it. Heck. have seen it and um but i'll put the link on there and I, there's some other things too so you'll see you know bottom i think at a couple of shows that might be just the one show but anyways the tour actually it was just the tour of scandinavia so there might have been a few days anyway slingerland kit and it even says slingerland right in the front and then there's also uh on the first tour of america they rented a lot of a kit which was black diamond uh and there's pictures of it you can find um, there's a couple really good pictures from, I think, Gonzaga University. I think I'm pronouncing Gonzaga, right? Gonzaga. And, uh, Gonzaga, Gonzaga. Anyway, but there's some good pictures, and it's a, I think it's a 24, 13, 16, 18. I was told it was a 24, 13, 16, 18 by somebody, but, you know, again, I... Come on. It was a, uh, 24, 13, 16, 18, I understand. Anyway, there's some good pictures of that. But then there's also a couple of pictures you can find of a, a blue sparkle kit Bonham's playing on. It looks like a 20, maybe a 22, 13, 16, 16. Um, uh, or, come here, Max. Come on. Come here. Come on over. Um, which is, I'll put a link on that too. And I think that's Kansas City. Because apparently what had happened was, I think, that they had sent their gear to California for a show. But then they needed to rent gear. For, gotcha. Rent gear for this particular show. So, uh, so that it's a, now I don't know if it's a Ludwig kit or what it is. I mean, it looks kind of like a Rogers kit, maybe. I'm not sure, but it's kind of cool. You see Zeppelin up there. I think they all have rented instruments, uh, but it's a blue sparkle kit. It looks like it has two floor toms. So I'll put that picture up there, too. That's kind of an interesting little Bonzo fact. And, all right, and here's another one. There are some pictures of Bonham taken in his house in 76 ish. You know, Bonham had a couple kids from Ludwig. And he had a bunch of, I think, uh, Vista light -like black and white swirl. I get, what, I forget what the, the spiral pattern. You know, uh, Ludwig had a bunch of different patterns for the Vista light, which was cool. Anyway, but he had uh, a kit or two, I think, in his sizes, 26, 14, 16, 18. But then he also had, I uh, like a, a like a quadra plus kind of thing, I think, which had four toms in the front. And they were concert tom, tomed. Uh, and then I think a 20, maybe a 24. I don't know. I don't know what size the bass room was. But you can see pictures of it. I think it's at his old Hyde Farm house, but I'll put a link on there too. Anyway, but an interesting thing about the picture is his ride symbol is a Peisty 2002, but his crash and his hi-hats are Evita Zildjian's. And you can see them. And from the picture, it looks like an 18-inch A Zildjian and then a pair of 14-inch Evita Zildjian hats. So, I mean, he, like anybody, I mean, you know, symbol, Zildjian makes a good symbol. You know, they do. I just, you know, I kind of have my split personality, my Avita Zildjian side and my Beisty side. Um, and then what was another couple good things that I wanted to chat about? Um, ah, the song remains the same movie. There's a really good site that somebody put up a number of years ago now called The Garden Tapes. And this guy went through, God love him, and he studied, he found all these bootlegs and Sound a couple like bootlegged pirated soundboard recordings and stuff of the three shows they did because Zeppelin did three shows when they went to New York in '73 that they filmed and recorded with Eddie Kramer. Eddie Kramer actually brought a trailer. You can actually see it in the movie. It's I think it was a big blue trailer. It's chock full of recording equipment. Uh, but I also think they but they didn't just do that. I think they also uh, they shot a bunch of footage. I think in Pittsburgh and in Baltimore too. 
And you know that footage in the song remains the same when you see the dudes running after that guy that's tripping hard on LSD and he's running all over the place or God knows what he's on. Um, but I think that that's Baltimore. If I remember, that's not Madison Square Garden. Uh, and also the footage um, when you see the cops letting the kids in. You know those real East Coasty kids that are you know like eh. Um, uh, that I think is Baltimore as well. That's not Madison Square Garden either, uh, from what I've been told. And um, let's see what else. Uh, and the backstage thing where Peter Grant's yelling at the promoter for letting in the, the guy selling the posters, I think that's Baltimore as well. And it's interesting, I think when you hear, you can hear, I think, Days Confused going on in the background. Days Confused or Stupid of Heaven? Going on in the background when he's yelling at that guy. I think it's Days Confused. And then, uh, you know, also to that other clip of, you know, Robert Plant's talking about bashing somebody. Uh, I think you, I think that's during Moby Dick. I think you can hear Bonzo in the background, you know, playing Moby Dick. All right. Anyway, uh, but this tape, the Garden Tapes, it's a great site. you got to check it out. This guy went through and, and found, um, you know, exactly... Uh, where the splices are, because Jimmy Page would, you know, obviously, you know, any live band recording you're going to hear that's official is going to be altered. I mean, they, they do that. I mean, they, you know, maybe a little overdub here and there. They take a clip from one night with the other, whatever. Um, uh, an interesting aside, I'd heard from somebody supposedly in the know, you know, the cheap trick, I want you to watch me, want you to want me. Um, when you hear, that's a Budokan, when you hear the crowd go, like, ah, 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 that that was added in with, you know, it's not the way it actually went. Interesting aside. No offense against the cheap trick dudes. Bunny is the main man. Um, but they do stuff like that. I mean, all the time. You know, sometimes they'll re-record whole parts and stuff. They, even back in the day, they had the ability to do that. Anyway, um, but the point I'm trying to make is that there's a bunch of different edit points in the, the soundtrack recording, the original one that came out in 76, and then, of course, the movie. And they, they don't necess they're not necessarily the same. There's different, there's sort of different mixes in the movie and then different mixes in the album. And then, of course, there was a little more work done later when Jimmy Page, when they released the stuff later in, like, 2007. But anyway, go to thegardentapescott.com. It's an awesome site. Um, and uh, that's really interesting. So I'll put the link to that, too. Um uh, which, which I, you know, found really interesting. Um, and then there was one more thing I wanted to babble about, uh, as I normally do tend to babble. Look at this dog. Oh, yeah, you're just a dog. Oh, yeah, the dog. Um, I can't remember. I might have to remake this video.